Hi there, my artisan friends. In this episode, we're taking a look at 404 Lab FR Laravel Impersonate. This is a package that we at Vulpa use quite often to um, enable impersonation possibilities in Laravel applications. Um, I did a few things prior to recording this. Um, I already, already installed it, but we're going to go over that as well. Um, I actually adjusted the migration for the user. I added a boolean of is admin with default of zero. I added the seeder, which creates a user for myself with an is admin set to true. So a truthy value in there. And then we create 10 other users um, with the factory. Um, so that should enable us to do PHP artisan migrate fresh, fresh dash dash seed. And when that seed has ran, we can head over to the application and actually log in with bird at vilpo.be and a password of password because, whoops, password, because that is default the password in the factory. All right, so if you head over to users, we have my own user and then 10 generated uh, users with the factory data. All right, so now we actually could start using the impersonation package, right? So uh, first of all, we're going to install it. So in here, we can see that it is um, able to, you're able to install it with Composure. So Composure require, and I'm quickly going to do this again, even though it's already there. Um, and it will install everything for you. Um, afterwards, you need to register this um, package in your service provider. So that is in config app and down here at the tab of providers, service provider default providers merge in here. Uh, I already had it in here, but I'm going to comment it out. So lab for a four impersonate impersonate service provider clause. When that is done, we need to add the trait to our user model. So that's in models, so app models user. And in here, this use impersonate models impersonate and also add it in here uh, to actually use it in the model as well. Impersonate, there we go. So basically now we should be able to add a button here to impersonate the users. Let's do that. So in the um, uh, resources views users index in here, you can see I already have it in here. Um, we can comment this one out. So on the end of each user, I want um, a URL that actually allows us to impersonate the users. But to have this route enabled, you need to add it to your web routes. So in uh, routes, web, I have in here a route impersonate. All right, so, um, and that's actually it to have the impersonation route and the leave impersonation route as well. All right, so with this in place, we can head over to the application again, refresh, and now I have an impersonation button. And this actually um, accepts a value of the ID of the user that you want to impersonate on the impersonate route. So let's get uh, an impersonation of uh, Braxton here. So impersonate, and now we head over to the application dashboard again. So here dashboard, and now dashboard, welcome, you're logged in. And I have Braxton Zeman. All right, so I am actually impersonating Braxton Zeman at this moment, but yeah. I'm impersonating him. Um, he can still impersonate other people. And yeah, we first want to leave the impersonation to head back to our own user, right? So to do that, you can add a button somewhere in your application. I already added one in navigation. And in here, you can use the um, uh, at impersonating with a guard of null and end impersonating and have a link in there which actually routes to impersonate leave. And if I refresh here, I have it in the menu here, leave impersonation. And if I click it, I'm leaving the impersonation and I'm BERT again. And it, as you can see, I don't have the button leave impersonation because it only shows when you're impersonating. That's quite awesome, right? 
All right, so um, now we can actually, yeah, you, you have seen if I impersonate some random dude, um, he can still impersonate other people. And we don't want that. I, don't, I only want the uh, admin to uh, impersonate other users. So if you remember, I have this uh, flag in my migration of the user here, which indicates is admin set to true. You can actually use um, something called uh, can impersonate, and it's also in the documentation of the package. Let me just quickly look it up for you. Um, Blade, here you can, here you go. Can impersonate, but to have the can impersonate working for you, you need to add it to the model of the. Um, yeah, it's also called is impersonating. You can also do the opposite of that. Can be impersonated, but. Yeah, I don't actually use that that often. Actually, I never use it, but yeah. Um, so in the user model, uh, let's head over to user model. So that's app models user down here. I already have it in comments right here. So uncomment that. Public function can impersonate, and this will return a truthy or a falsy value if the is admin is set to true. So let's save that and um, let's head over to the uh, index file of the users and yeah, comment this out. There we go. Now we can use the at can impersonate. So yeah, like we had the impersonating um, directive, we now have the possibility to use can impersonate, which is actually going to check if a user can impersonate another user and then show the button or not. So if we head over to the application again, um, now Miss Elodie Boyer isn't able to impersonate anyone. If I leave the impersonation again and head over to dashboard, users, I can now impersonate users, which is kind of awesome. But what if you don't want to have, uh, for example, if I'm impersonating jo Joni here um, and I'm actually Bert impersonating Joan, uh, Joanny, yeah. Um, in the users model, I have set a secret route, so a very secret route, which is a very secret route. But I don't want an impersonator to access this route. What you can do is you can protect it by a middleware, um, and that middleware can be added to the web routes as well. Uh, let me see, and you can add a middleware middleware um, and I'm not really sure so I need to check the documentation for that one yeah it's impersonate protect so let's copy this there we go impersonate protect so I'm currently impersonating and I have the possibility to go to dashboard users and all the other routes but if I go to slash secret I'm currently redirected back to where I was coming from and that's is that is prevented by the middleware for us so if I leave the impersonation and I go to dashboard now I can actually head over to users secret again and I will see my own secret route, but I can't access the secret route of another user by impersonating that user. So that's actually how you can use this package. Um, go ahead and give it a star and like and subscribe and I will see you in one of the next videos. Take care, bye bye.